Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burrows. We're still lost in the building, doing things. Oleander's here. I'm also going to apologize for being a big fat nerd last time. I shouldn't, I, I, I can't believe. I can't believe I was like, this takes place before Scooby, oh my god. I, <laughs> of course I would know that, big fat nerd. <laughs> He backs out and stands in the middle of the previous room. Open, uh, open the same door in there. Uh, okay. I comply and see an endless row of three, of the three of us stretching into infinity. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oleander slams it shut and pulls me back before my brain explodes. No, I knew it. He jogs over to us and chipper than he. <laughs> Uh, then he uh, guessed correctly. Chipper that he guessed correctly. Okay. So the wrong door led back to where we started. How bothersome. Just, just don't make me do that again. Oh, sorry, sport. All right. Well, let's keep at it then. We keep trying doors, going clockwise from left her from on the from the left side. The next three are all duds, and we move on to the right side. Hey! Oh, what if none of these work? Uh... I don't... Th I... I didn't think, uh... I, I didn't think of that? I'm sorry, wait. My brain is... What if none of these work? I didn't think of that. Oh, okay. Sorry, my brain. It's a little... little... little tossed up at the moment. <laughs> is this... Is this just here to waste our time? No, we can't think that way. He gently pushes me away from the feathery, from with a feathery arm. Oh, Ollie? Sorry, but could you two do me a favor and leave the room for a moment? I need to try something, alone. You have to be kidding me. Please, this might be the only way. I swallow my pride and tug on Mark's arm. <laughs> Let him at least try to help. We leave and close the door behind us. Hmm, a bit further, please. He's really trying me! Uh, come on. Uh, for Simon. Simone. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, he rolls his eyes and we walk to the end of the hallway. We didn't hear any uh, another peep out of Ollie, so it must be an adequate distance. And now we wait. I could tell he caught on that I was suspicious of him. If he chose to find the exit without us, I wouldn't put it past him. As long as he keeps uh, Simon safe, maybe he's better for her. Certainly more handsome. I mean, that's not wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, you may come back now. I jump up as we and we race back to the door to find him standing in the middle of the room. What did you even do? He taps his beak, smirking at me. Your friend there will recall that I have a keen sense of smell. Once I get a good idea of an individual's scent, I shan't forget. I recall Simone wearing a very distinct perfume when we first met and I figured I could track her that way if she's unable to speak. Why didn't you just tell us that? One, I didn't want to offend by suggesting your odor would get in the way. But it does. Does it? Oh, yes, you stink. Ouch. <laughs> and reason number two. The second reason being, I too am wearing a cologne and needed to remove my clothes to avoid the smells becoming mixed together. Oh. But I can happily say that the sacrifice to my comfort was not in vain. Her scent is coming from beyond this door. He taps a knuckle against one of the one on the one right behind him. Okay. That's amazing. I give him a hug and he chuckles, uh, patting me on the head. You can thank me after we found her. Mark grumbles behind me. R right. I jump off of him and shuffle back to Mark's side. Uh, didn't I tell you not to get too chummy? You did, but he kept his word. 
It won't happen again. Ollie clears his throat and beckons us to follow him into the next room. Ollie clears his throat and... Oh, wait. I'm not sure of what to expect. I grab Mark's hand and let him lead. Oh. This isn't a puzzle room, is it? No. <laughs> Anytime I walk into... Like, I, I walked into a room in, like, Silent Hill 1. You know, the original. And there was just a big interactable plaque. I would just go, ah, <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. This room is slightly worse for wear. The air is damp and the walls smell of mildew. A chill runs up my leg as I step onto a soggy carpet while Mark and Ollie seem unaffected, despite being barefoot. Hmm. What do you make of this room? There are less doors this time, and it smells like shit. Very astute. Oh, look. I slosh. Oh, I hate that. Over to the nearest door and point to a symbol engraved on the wood. What's that supposed to be? It's crude. But I want to say it appears to be a castle tower. This, uh, this door has one as well. A horse's head? Oh, I get it. They're chess pieces. And he points at each door, uh, listing them in order. A king, queen, knight. A bishop, pawn, and castle. Rook. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are both black and white versions of, of each door. Shall we assume that choosing the wrong door will yield the same result as before? It's always possible. So, we've gone from monsters to riddle solving. Wait, I, I think I know the right door. The other two mutter in confusion as I produce the chess piece we found in the kid's closet earlier. This piece is the Black Knight, right? We found it hidden away on a higher floor. Well, shit, so it was important. Heh. <laughs> Am I Lancelot material now? Lancelot was merely using the moniker of the Black Knight as an alias to... Oh my god! Shut the fuck up! Oh my god! <laughs> Marky boy! <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> yeah, now's not the time. Well, I... Well... Now you have. Mark grabs the piece out of my hand and holds it up to the matching door. Yup, no doubt about it. It's the exact same design. Oleander adjusts his collar and tries to compose himself. A good job, team. Let us continue. Are all the birds, like, evil in this game? There's, like, Dakota from, uh, from Ken's route. I haven't finished up... I haven't, uh, played... What, day two or build two of a hero's route? Does he also have a, a bird that's sussy, as it were? Curious, curious. Uh, Mark turns the handle and it clicks open. We all sigh in relief. I close the door behind us and take in our new space. It's a very small room and in much better condition than any we've seen yet. Something about the layout is familiar, but I can't quite think of why. And why does it sound like there are people in the rooms next to us? <laughs> Boy, look! Yes? Huh? Oh. Hey, you're here. We have a full party. <laughs> Simone! She's curled up on the couch, or her clothes drenched in sweat. I rush over and try to shake her awake. She's cold and clammy. Simone, it's me! We made it! Please, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Is she dead? Mark pulls me back as tears run down my face. Calm down. She's still breathing. She's just unconscious. Could she have put herself into a trance or something? She never explained the details of how her gift worked. This room seems safe enough, and now we have the girl. Perhaps it would be best to rest a bit and let her awake on her own. Yeah, yeah, you're right. She's worked hard to guide us here. She needs to recover before we can keep going. 
I collapsed onto the floor, feeling all of the stress I'd built up start to melt away. We barricade the door with the rest of the furniture in the room, and we each uh, take a corner. I should rest, but my thoughts are racing faster than I can deal with them. What comes after this? How much longer will he keep torturing us? And how much longer can we keep going before uh, without food and water? Not to mention our sanity will keep wearing down at this rate. Mark and Ollie have been at each other's throats since they met, and I can't guarantee either safety. I feel so powerless. I only, If only I could understand how the magic trick worked in the elevator. Wait, what? That magic trick in the elevator worked. Maybe I could use it to protect us, or... Oh. Huh? I grabbed the pebble out of my pocket and set it on the floor. It wobbles for a few seconds before coming to life, rolling its way towards the door. What the devil? Could you open it a crack, Ollie? I promise, it'd... I'd uh, take it to the lobby, but it seems to know the way back from here. I see. Very well. He reaches through the tangled... What, the tangle of furniture, and pulls the door open ever so slightly. The pebble makes its exit, almost seeming to stop and acknowledge Ollie before rolling out of sight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, somehow, that's the weirdest shit I've seen yet. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. We have very different definitions of cute. I suddenly hear a moan to my left and spin around to see Simone twitching. Uh, Syme? Oh, uh, finally roused, is she? I crawl over and elegantly wait. Elegantly? Eagerly. I think it'd be funny if it was elegantly. Uh, wait as her eyelids start to flutter. Is Simon, we're here. We followed your voice. Gray? She yawned and stretched her arms before flipping over, uh, cuddling a pillow. Uh... Y yeah, okay, sure. That does it. Wake the fuck up! <laughs> oh, I kind of, I kind of love how abrasive Mark is. He's so done. I'm here for it. Her tail twitches and she jolts awake, knocking me in the chin with her elbow. Oh fuck! That's right. We're in this place again. Ow! Simone, are you all right? He pushes past me and sit next to her as she comes to. Oh, Ollie, I'm glad you're okay. You scared me half to death. What happened, dear? Dear? They seem awfully close. Gray, oh, thank God you were able to find this place. So, this is that Mark person you were telling me about. <laughs> nice to finally meet you, ma'am. No need for formalities. Just the Simone is fine. She furrows her brow, examining him intensely. Uh, Zyme. I guess I kind of get it. A little too old for my taste. Excuse me. Y yeah, yeah. Uh, now's not the time, Zyme. Uh, sorry. I couldn't help. Uh, I couldn't help you more, but some t something here is suppressing that power. Power? Uh, can someone please explain something for once? She hesitates, a face going flush as she looks away from us. It's alright, lass. We've seen enough queries to last a lifetime together uh, tonight. Whatever you have to say, uh, say it. Alright, so, uh, basically... I give her a thumbs up and she cracks a smile. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been able to hear what people are thinking. Not full sentences or anything, but I can get a general sense uh, of their wants and desires. If they have a crush on someone, their fears, that sort of thing. It was scary, you know, hearing what people think of you, especially the people you trust. She wraps her tail around herself like a security blanket. And sometimes I see things too. People. What sort of people? Dead ones. Them. I tighten my job. My job. <laughs> my jaw. Uh, remembering the day she trusted me with that information. My mama knew about it. Said it ran in the family. That her mama took her to 
to some voodoo witch doctor to get it sealed away. I thought I could handle it, but, well, once I got to a certain age and men started noticing me, it became unbearable. So this quack did some hoodoo and it went away. And she scowls at him and Hollyander holds her back. Not a quack, mutt. She was a priestess. A mom, a mambo. Mambo? Okay. She told me it wouldn't be a permanent fix. So all of this is triggered. So all of this triggered it to come back. She nods, still exhausted. Yes, but it's never manifested like this before. I mean, I was able to project my thoughts into Gray's mind. It's referred to as a telepathy in science fiction. It's referred to as bullshit insane, if you ask me. But there's no other way we can have... We could have made it this far. She shrugs, too jaded after years of skepticism to care. But how did you get here by yourself, if that door was still sealed when we got when we found it? Hmm? What door? I got here through the vents. The what? She points at the ceiling, and sure enough, a vent covers a vent cover hangs open. It's then that I remember the chute we fell down earlier. How did I forget to check for more of those? <laughs> yeah, I woke up somewhere, but I could sense that was something important here, so I took the fastest possible route. I got turned around a few times, though, so it wasn't my best run. Her mouths hang open in disbelief. This fucking woman! <laughs> well, well, I suppose I wouldn't have fit in there anyway, so I prefer- though I say- so I still prefer my method. Yeah, and uh... He thinks for a moment before cursing to himself. Nope. I can't see an upsides. You win. Did it at least build character? Don't you start with that. <laughs> I get hit with a wave of exhaustion and slump down, using it as an excuse to wrap my arms around her in a weak hug. Even if you're capable as all hell. I was worried about you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sorry for stressing you out. She pats my back, and for a brief moment, things feel normal again. Oleander smiles warmly at us, and Mark seems to rel seems more relaxed, too. Maybe it really is over. And now that everyone's here, I can finally see what's been calling me. She points to a wardrobe at the far right of the room that hasn't been moved. Ah, it wouldn't budge when I tried. Another door, then. She nods. I wanted to wait for you guys in case it ended the game. I couldn't live with myself if you got trapped here because of me. Sime. She's stuck. But she's stuck in this time because of my own mistake. Yet she's still thinking about how to help everyone else. Let's not waste any time then. I want out of this hellhole. We nod and gather in front of the wardrobe, ready to face our final, our final trial. Mark opens the door, and we're met with a blank wooden panel. The hell? Nope, not falling for that again. Move! <laughs> okay. We take a few steps back, and Mark readies his bat, bashing the panel with uh, a two-handed swing. Aha! I knew it! Mark kicks in the rest of the wardrobe, with the, uh, broken, uh, wo the broken wood, creating a hole that leads into a hidden room. I was hoping that last puzzle would be a little more complicated. Talk about a letdown. Yeah, the whole hidden door thing loses its impact after the first time. It's time this is... I take this over on another riddle. I'll take this over another... I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm losing in a bit. That's fine. Everyone nods in agreement, and we crawl through the hole one by one. Nah. This is... Hmm. None of us know what to say. As someone had a field day decorating this place. Oh, it's really cool. But all right, everyone, I will end the part here. So I'll see you guys around.